Are you sick of uh, show business in a way? And I'll tell you why. You've been doing it since you're a little kid. It is a tremendous struggle to keep finding hmm. good projects and to keep your name out there. And then you host the Emmys and you host the Oscars and then you host the this and that. And then you say every day, well, what the fuck am I doing all this for? Have you ever had that moment of doubt about the career choice? Of just the entertainment industry? That's right. No. No, you love it. I started it so young, man. I was I was 12 turning 13 when I started it that it sort of has has been all I've known. What when I you got do the Whoopi like, Goldberg movie? Was that how yeah. when you started? Yeah. Unbelievable. First audition kind of thing? Yeah. And you got the Whoopi Goldberg movie. I did. What was the name of that movie? Clara's Heart. And you were a little kid. Mm -hmm. You went on an audition for Whoopi Goldberg's movie. <laughs> and then you're working with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. Family must have been floored, right? Yeah, it was, it was just so surreal and outside of the normal world. Are you still in touch with her? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but you're not so, super close as a result of that? No, but when we see each other, it's we have like an extra special moment and hug and stuff because... Does she think of you as like so her great. kid? Like, or like, hey, I started, with, I started this kid out or something. Is there some sort of special uh, bonding kind of thing? I don't know about from her point of view, but from my point of view, it's I'm, I always feel a special bond to her because she was a big giant movie star and I got to star in a movie... I with think her. it's amazing it was because, my first time. because I always think of your story. I tell people this all the time. Neil was at acting camp, and then right out of yeah. acting camp, he auditioned for Whoopi Goldberg and yeah. got the and got the part in her movie. What's it like after you make a movie with Whoopi Goldberg and then you go back to high school? Is it fucking weird? Is everyone like um, kissing your ass all of a sudden? Are you now a superstar at school? No, it was more. It was more that you were weird and kind of more of an outcast. Yeah. Because, really? Yeah. Well, I, I'd lived in a small town in New Mexico called Ruidoso, ski resort town. Right. And when I went and did the movie, I came back for just a little bit, and then we moved to Albuquerque. Oh. So I became suddenly the new kid in a new school and in a new town. So and you I weren't didn't the really new... have to deal with that. But you weren't the new kid who's in the movies? Well, there was a bigger school in Albuquerque, and so there was a proper theater department. When so I was able to become friends with actor, with like, you know, other theater geek. When you kids. go to school in Albuquerque... Mm -hmm. Uh, and you've done a movie, and then you try out for the school play, are you like, fuck you assholes. I was in a fucking movie. <laughs> why am I auditioning? Yeah, why am Give I, me the play. I Give should be directing. No, really. Right. To be honest, I struggled. I, I yearned I yearned for normalcy. Did you? Yeah. yeah you are a normal right? guy. I but mean, I, I was in a, such a weird environment and doing so many weird things, and I was from New Mexico, and then I was suddenly at the Golden Globes right. around celebrity people, and I didn't feel like I fit in at all. And then when you're at that age, you just want to have friends and be kind of a normal person just in life, even if you aren't doing anything.